Hey, how's it going? Welcome to uh, Tech Tuesday from McBain Camera. Uh, I'm Danny Vo. Today we're actually looking at the brand new OMD EM10 Mark III. And judging by this, you can tell it's quite a beautiful camera. It does borrow a lot of its styling features from the 40-year-old uh, OM1 film camera. Today, I'm with the lovely Valerie here, and uh, today we will uh, do some portrait shooting with this guy. And the breeze is working in our favor today. Beautiful. Wow, awesome. The uh, autofocus, the eye and face attack is already locking down on her face and tracking her already. So in terms of ease of use, I'm pretty much just clicking the shutter. So we're going to try some high burst shooting mode and uh, see how fast this uh, mirrorless camera is. And it is just locking focus. Perfect. Beautiful. Wow, this camera is just blazing fast. So what's neat about this guy is, uh, even though it is Olympus's uh, entry-level body, you do actually get dual function dials as well, which is really, really quite a neat feature. Uh, a lot of, uh, let's say, Canon and uh, Nikon equivalents don't quite have that, so much I find it's really nice. It has a lot of uh, the older uh, exclusive Olympus uh, built-in features like live composite, live time. They used to be kind of hidden in the menus. Olympus has never had the best user interface. Um, however, with this new uh, revamped EM10 Mark III, they actually just put it, they actually created quite a bit of shortcuts in here. Silent shooting, perfect for events and um, street photography as well. Panorama for those uh, travel oh, enthusiasts as well. That looks cool. <laughs> <laughs> and as well as Keystone compensation for those guys who like to do a lot of architecture kind of stuff. And we also have AE bracketing and focus bracketing as well. Well, the neat thing is there are a lot of art filters in this Instagram age built into the camera as well. They are constantly doing firmware updates and they have been introducing to even their older cameras as well, which is really neat. So they give you a nice deeper grip, this new thumb grip that they added as well, which is really handy. For a photographic tool, this thing is just outstanding. But what about for those uh, videographers out there or travel bloggers out there as well? Well, good, good news, because there is 4K built into this camera, finally, as well. Um, it does share a lot of the features, same as the EM1 Mark II, as well as the TG5, such as the slow-mo feature built into it. So I have to say, we were expecting a little bit warmer weather today. I was expecting some nice uh, backlit, uh, sunny sunset portraits, and uh, but we have Edmonton's uh, fifth winter, so few drawbacks I'd have to say is the uh, they are still using the tilt and uh, tilt screen as well which I would like them to maybe have a fully articulating screen which is quite neat for a lot of people out there especially if you're a travel vlog and you can kind of see what you're doing out there as well or selfies and <laughs> 16 megapixels is it enough in 2018 I know most of you are saying yes my phone can do that as well but uh, I actually think 16 is still plenty more than enough, especially with some good glass like this 45 1.2. 24 by 30 print off of a 60 megapixel sensor. So thank you for joining us on the third episode of Tech Tuesday. Uh, don't forget to follow McBain Camera at uh, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, and as well as our wonderful model for today on Instagram. Uh, Valerie M. Doe, just one word. And you can follow me as, uh, and I will probably be taking more pictures and uh, sharing these images from this OMD EM10 at uh, my Instagram at photo by Vo. And that's a wrap. Mm -hmm.